In this video, Randy will show tips on how to create a 3D creator character having a long monologue. In Create Studio 3, it is possible to sync the 3D creator character lips to the audio. That is a great feature as it allows pauses in the audio and the character's mouth matches the pause. But a long discussion can get monotonous, and that is where Randy has some tips to avoid that. Hey, Randy, are you replacing me with this lady? She doesn't even have a mustache. Don't worry, Patrick. You will still be Randy's comic relief sidekick. This is Randy and Patrick with a Create Studio 3 tutorial. Now that Create Studio 3 has lip sync capability, it is possible to have a character give a long speech or presentation. All you need to do is use one of the 3D creator characters and give its actions throughout the audio track. Sometimes you may need to extend the action duration quite a bit. It is easy to extend a character's action. Just click on the end marker of the action and drag it to the right. The end marker is a small square in Create Studio 3 and a vertical line in Create Studio Pro. Okay, I must interrupt here. No one should be using the Pro version of Create Studio. I mean, all Create Studio users can upgrade to Create Studio 3 and it is free. So if anyone hasn't upgraded to 3, you need to do it right now. Wow, Patrick is pretty passionate about Create Studio 3. What I was about to say before being interrupted. So, you may conclude that the best way to have a 3D creator character give a long monologue is to lengthen the talking action. Well, that is certainly the easiest thing to do, but the repetitive movement of the character may soon turn your audience off, and you certainly don't want to do that. If the duration of the action is very long, Create Studio will loop on the action over and over to fill your desired duration, and that is when it becomes monotonous. So, I have four tips on how to avoid making a long monologue monotonous. The first tip is to mix several actions throughout the monologue. The one action that you should use the most is the idle action. Good public speakers will stand in place while they are talking and use arm gestures only during times when they want to emphasize points. So copy that behavior and insert actions with arm movements only when you want to emphasize something. Some other actions you can use are pointing left, pointing right, idea, and listening. But others can work if you use them in creative ways. The second tip also comes from watching good public speakers. They tend to scan the audience. Currently, there are two methods to do that. The first way is to use the listening action. The character will move and look to the side, which looks great. There is an arm movement, so make sure that that fits what the character is saying at that moment. The second way is to rotate the character one direction and then back. To do that, have the character track selected and add the character view animation. Move your playhead to the time you want the character to turn back to center and add another character view animation. Did you notice I have not rotated the character yet? That is because I want the character to return back to the same position he or she had before rotating. Mouse click on the second keyframe, which will jump your playhead to that spot. Click on Rotate above the character to put it into Rotate mode. Mouse click and drag the character to face either to the right or to the left. Now when you advance the playhead through the second animation, you will see the character return to center. So that is why you should add two character view animations before doing the rotation. Tip 3. Change facial expressions. This works very well if the talk takes a humorous or serious tone. Watch this example. The woman I admire the most is my mother. She would light up the room when she entered with her bright smile and happiness. She made everyone she met feel special. Plus, she raised three amazing children. I should know, I am one of them. Then one day, her doctor gave us the bad news. She, she was dying of cancer. On the timeline, I have the idle action with a happy facial expression. The facial expression will be in effect during the length of the action it is applied to. Then, as the audio discusses the cancer, another idle expression is added, but this time, change the facial expression to sad. Tip 4. 
Use Jump Cut to give a different camera angle to the presenter. This works great if you have different views of the background and Create Studio has several multi-view backgrounds. Seeing the character from different angles breaks the monotony. Here I have one audio track and two clips of Tom with two different angles of the background. To sync the audio, right mouse click on the audio track. But look, you have sync with Tom twice. The lip sync can only be applied to one of the Tom tracks. A simple solution is to cut the audio right at the time where the jump cut occurs. Hmm. Still see sync with Tom twice. Let's try shortening the audio. That fixed it. Now sync the audio after the cut. There you go. Those are the techniques to use to keep a character's long monologue from becoming monotonous. Wow, thanks, Randy. Hey, while I have everybody's attention, did you notice the audience during the motivational speaker's talk? I created a short tutorial on how to build an audience. There is a link in the description. Then did you notice the lady's reflection in the opening clip? I created another short tutorial on how to do that, which you can also find a link to in the description. Hey, everybody. Have a good day and happy creating.